Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Cataclysmo, a real-time strategy game about building castles and then fighting off huge swarms of terrifying creatures that would definitely like to eat us. So the idea of the game is that we have a little camp where we can train people up to do some fighting, and then we build our defences pretty much brick by brick, which means we can make them how we like, which is quite fun. We could have big long walls, we could have huge towers, we could have a combination of both, whatever works best, and then we have to deploy our fighty people, and see if we can survive the siege of the evil monsters. Now this is the demo of the game, it's on Steam right now as I record this, and as always there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description so you can go and check the game out a bit more and also play the demo if you would like to. But anyway, time to get on with it I think, let's go and build a castle and fight off some beasties. So, you've come to talk of Lady Iris. It's true, she has shared my fire from time to time. Sit down. Rest. I still remember that day, outside Ogar. The day I met her, the Lady Iris herself. Okay, here we go. Backwards and Barrow, Highlands. Okay, right, so we're in the Highlands. It doesn't look like a very jolly place, if I'm being completely honest. It looks a little bit grim around here. Look, it all looks very sort of very grim and miserable. And there's a herald down there, and they're saying, these blasted woods are so gloomy. Why did I volunteer for this? You're not wrong, herald. You're not wrong. The woods are very gloomy indeed. Very good observation. Okay, right, so can we go and have a look at you? Can we zoom in and have a little look at you? No, we cannot. Hang on. Have we? Ah, I think we might have some sort of tutorial stuff to do. Okay, move the camera around. Okay, we've done that. We're brilliant at that. Rotate the camera. Yeah, we're very good at that as well. Zoom the camera in and out. Right, here we go. Now we can go and have a little look at you. So what's going on with you? Okay, you look wonderful. You look very, very wonderful indeed. Look at that. You've got a bow and you've got some arrows. That's quite good. I'm not entirely sure if you're human. I mean, you're humanoid, definitely. You've got, you know, legs and arms and a head on top. You're humanoid, but I'm not sure if you're an actual human. You've got very thin, sort of teeny tiny pointy feet going on, and then your head, is that a sort of hat-mask combo? Or is that your face there? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but you look wonderful. Okay, right, so we've got a herald down there, and we need to zoom in and out a bit more. Okie doke. Oh, crikey. Okay, we can, oh blimey, yeah, we can do some extreme close-ups. Okie doke, right, so we can zoom in very, very much indeed. Okay, uh, snap to the overhead map view. Okie dokie, there we go. The world looks quite big. It looks like quite a big map that we're on. Righty-ho. Uh, go back down to ground level. And now where do we go? Okay, so the Herald says, I better keep moving if I'm to deliver the message. Okay, right, so you have an important message. Right, so we can move people around, we select them, and then we use the right mouse button to move them, that's fine. When they're ordered to move, a deploy mark will appear. You can select a unit by clicking its deploy mark. Okie dokie, right you are. So we've got to move over there. Okay, right, Herald, let's go on a fun trip, shall we? Oh, there we go. A messenger with important news. His bow deals moderate damage to a single target. And there is the Herald there. Okay, maybe on that picture, they do look a little bit more sort of human. They've got kind of a big, kind of, I don't know what that is, like a sort of a neck scarf type thing going up there. Maybe that's their eyes peeping through. I don't know. So what have we got? 12 attack damage, uh, 2.8, I assume, seconds attack cooldown, and you're only on one square. Okay, right, that's fine. So if we head over here, if we wander over to that part of the world, is there anything over here which looks potentially dangerous, like it might want to kill us or eat us to death or whatever? I'm not sure. Okay, we're having a look around. Perhaps this way. I mean, it looks as good as any other. There's quite a lot of little sort of bits and bobs lying around. Lots of little kind of incidental details that show that we're not the first people to come here. There's some steps there. There's some sort of wooden things there. Is that like a cart wheel? Yeah, that looks like the wheel of some sort of cart, possibly. There's a thing there. I don't quite know what that is. There's quite a lot of little bits and bobs around, but okay. Right, so Herald, let's head over here then. Let's come through here. And I imagine at some point... Oh, hang on. You just got your bow out. Well, hang on. Is that what you do just normally when you're moved around? Ah, okay. When you're moving, you put it away. And when you're still, you get it out. Right, okay. That's fine. That makes perfect sense. Safety first and everything. Okay, zoom out a little bit. Because our view is being obscured by all the trees. So if we come through here... Ah, we've got to go to all the way over there. Okay. 
I assume we're safe doing this. Okay, rickety little kind of, uh, what's that, like a rocky overcrop, sort of a bridge type thing. The mist, it could almost be beautiful. We're lucky to have masks. Ah, right, okay, you are wearing masks for a reason. The mist is clearly dangerous. Okay, there is the mist. Uh, it's got some lovely colours going on with it. It looks quite pretty, although, uh, yes, it could possibly kill if you breathe it in. So not great, really. Right, head up here. Oh, we stopped. Uh, clouds be damned. A horror. Okay, so that thing is a horror. This creature, it might once have been... No, don't think about it. It looks a bit like a frog. It's just vermin now. Kill or be killed. Okay, so our first threat is over there. So come over here. Attacking enemies. Deployed troops will automatically attack any horror in their range. Move closer and see. And the herald then says softly, let me think about it. Uh, <gasps> spacebar is pause. Oh, wonderful. I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause. Wonderful stuff. Well done, game. Good job. Yep, there we go. Look at that. We can pause time, which we have done there. That's wonderful. Okay, time is paused. Now we can have a little look at what we're actually facing off again. So it's whatever that thing is. Okay, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it looks a little bit like it's a sort of a big mutant frog of some kind. Or was it once a person? I don't know. Yeah, best not think about it. It has been eating quite a lot. Possibly quite a lot of people. There's quite a lot of bones over there. Uh, right, so we just sort of... We attack it, do we? So if we unpause time, are we going to fire at it? Do we need to get nearer? What's the range of your thing like? Ah, there we go. Right, so you're going to fire at it. Couple of arrows going in. Boop and boop. One more arrow should do the job. And boop, down it goes. It's done. All this trouble to find some scholar. Ah, that's why we're here. Okay, we're looking for a person. Okie dokie. Right, so we're going to find a person to deliver our letter to. Okay, so if we head... Ah, there. There's a little base around here. Okay, so head up here. I imagine that is the person we want to go and find. So let's come up here, look. Hello, we found you. How are you? A camp. So this must be... Dot, dot, dot. Must be what? Uh, Herald, Lady Iris. I bring word from Hogar. The city is... Do I look like a scholar, Herald? The lady's gone on alone. Easy for her, but... Okay, so you're called Lobber. I'd best go with you to deliver your message. Okay, so we're trying to find Lady Iris. Okay, but now we have two people. Okie dokie, got a couple of people. So Lobber is a basic troop. Deals low damage to multiple targets in a very small area. Lobbers are critical when facing enemies in huge numbers. A Lobber. Are you like a grenadier? Are you going to chuck... Yeah, look, you've got like a sort of a, a spiky grenade type thing. So you're going to cause sort of, yeah, wide area damage because you're chucking explosives around. Okie dokie, right, there we go. So now I think we can grab the pair of you. Okay, and then can you both go over here? Yes, you can. Okay, and then when you're still, you get your weapons out. Wonderful. Okay, so now we head down here, look. So head over here. We're looking for Lady Iris then to go and deliver this message. The game has paused. So range and unit rolls. All human troops fight from distance. Hover over a deployed troop to view its range. Each troop has its own roles, strengths and weaknesses. Lobbers can resist some physical damage, but have a small attack range. Bowmen are fragile, but can target enemies from afar. Okay, so now, do we need to target two different creatures? Is that why that's telling us that? Um, okay, so I think if we... Hang on, pause time. If we go to our archer, put the herald there, and then get the lobber, and put the lobber there so they're a bit nearer can they both work together to take that thing down i think so okay oh hang on you're just sort of are you did you lob out that is an explosive i'm now not entirely sure that is an explosive there wasn't much exploding if it was an explosive possibly it's a spiky thing on a stick on a string i don't know i'm not entirely sure right let's keep going let's keep going oh hang on a minute Let's take them down from above. Okay, right. Yes, get the high ground. The high ground is important. Different troops will fight at different heights. Low ground units are good against targets at similar heights to them. Our high ground units need higher ground to deliver their most effective blows. Okay. All units get attack bonuses at the right height. For example, high ground units benefit from being 5 to 10 meters higher than their target. Okay. 
So try hovering on the diamond above a troop's portrait to see their preferred height. Okay, pause time for a second. So your preferred height, you're a high ground unit. And what about you? You're a low ground unit. Okay, so I think we might just split up here. So if we put the herald up there and then get the lobber kind of going in down here, this might be quite good. You can work together to take them down as a pairing. Although, hang on. Oh, you are throwing things at them, but they don't explode. Oh, I thought they were explosive. They're just kind of big, heavy, spiky things you're throwing at them. Okay, that's fine, as long as it works. So there you go. Wonderful. Let's carry on, says the Herald. Okie doke. Which direction? Ah, right, we have to go round here and over there. Okay, let's make our way over there to the next waypoint. Oh, we found a thing. The lobber says, see that ancient beacon? Only one person can light them. The lady passed through here. Okay, so we're on the right track. That's good. We need to cross. Let's check that salvage path for something we can use. Okay, so is the bridge out? Is that is that what I'm assuming from here? Uh, ah, yeah. The little kind of stone bridge thing is quite broken. Okay, so head up to here then. So we need to kind of salvage that, do we? Salvage obtained. Oh, we get to do some building work. Yay, building structures is critical to surviving in these forgotten lands. Okay, so it can all be selected from the build menu. Let's start with wooden pieces. Okay, so come down here and now we have a build menu. Okay, so I think a wooden strut then. Is that what we want to put in first? Um, got two of those and then we've got a half, hang on, what about just half arch? Can we do that? Just a half arch going in. Oh, hang on. Uh, when placing pieces, you can hold shift uh, to cycle through recent pieces. Okay, that's fine. You can recover any piece you've placed by pressing the recycle button, put the build menu, and then, okay, recycle the bits. Ah, so when we're over, maybe we have to pick up the bits that we've just used. Okay, so now I think we can get over. So let's get on with this. Come out of build mode, head over here. So poodle over there, and then do we go back into here and then recycle mode, boop and boop. Okie dokie, right, keep those with us because we might need those for another bridge or whatever. Right, makes perfect sense. I quite like this. We're going to have a fun adventure through a dismal wood. Okay, let's head over here, look. In fact, we need to head there. So just head straight for there. What's around here? Is that another pile of junk? I think it might be. What a messy stairway says the Herald, very critical of uh, you know, forest architecture. A piece can only be placed where it has enough support from below. If supporting pieces are destroyed or removed, a structure may collapse. Combine wood and stone pieces to get the most out of your structures. Okay, wood pieces are quick, cheap and versatile, but not very resilient. Uh, they're ideal for reaching distant places quickly. Stone pieces are a lot stronger, and ideal for building defences, but they're heavy and require more support. Okay, makes perfect sense. If we go here and pick up those things. Oh, crikey, okay. We have a lot of things. Right, so now we have to do some building. Okay, this is fun. This is quite fun. So some wooden steps. So is R rotate? Which one was rotate? It probably did tell us how to rotate it, didn't it? And I skipped past it and went, ah, I don't need to know that. So now, could they, if we come out of that, can they get up there? They can walk up there and they can get to here. Okay, right, so we've kind of covered off the first part of the problem. So now we're going to need to come down here a bit, I think. So we're going to need some sort of support. Hang on, can we put stairs? Uh, hang on, we want straight stairs. Yeah, like that, look. Like that. Right, rotate it round is like that. And that's like that. Okay, so come out of that. Can we, oh, hang on, go back into there. Recycle that bit. Also means nobody can follow us, which is quite good. And then we can both... Just pootle our way, if I do it right, pootle our way up here, look. Up those, pause time a second, go here, recycle that, recycle that, nobody can follow us, and brilliant, okay, we are up. Excellent stuff, right, where do we go now? Oh, okay, I think it's happening. Almost there, the lady should be investigating those ruins. Okay, so she's over there somewhere. Who is this scholar? To go in alone into places like this, I can hear horrors lurking ahead. Okay, so somebody very brave is out there. So where are... Oh, yeah, there's a few uh, There's a few beasties around, I see. Okay, so if we go to here, I think... Are we going to see that one and take that one out? I think the... Uh, yeah, there we go. 
There we go. This is fine. As a pair, and they're quite good. So they all deal with that nice and quick. The horror goes down. I think we're supposed to. We've got to get up there, have we? To pick up some more building materials to then make our way up there. There are some more building materials there. But there is a beastie over there. So can we head over here, look, and take that one down? And then it just be out of the way, then. If we just go and get it, look, there we go. And gone, lobber. Ch oh, hang on. You're chucking down here. Oh, I didn't realise you were fighting one down there. Oh, we just got hurt. Oh, okay. Possibly should have moved away a bit quicker there. But never mind. You're okay. Just, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Tis but a flesh wound. Okay, so if we come down here, then, we can pick up these goodies. So we can have whatever that is. So some more steps and what have you. And then there are some up here kind of feel obliged to go and get that because the game's sort of yeah, hinting that we should go and pick up all the things that we can so um yep yeah, okay fine i'm gonna build some sort of fairly basic what do we got to do we can get up there we need some steps so could we grab those and put them there can, can we then is that enough to get up can you two get up there is that yeah oh okay that was easier than i thought so we've picked up a few more bits and bobs yay right wonderful and then just recycle that as we come past because it might be useful we should take that thank you right head over here and now i think we have got a bit of a bigger building job to do so we've got to work out how to get over here so we're going to need some steps here that's fine wooden steps nice and straightforward however we're going to need some support over there. So what can we do with that? So stone support, stone bricks. Okay, here we go with the whole sort of building your own things aspect of the game. So if we go like that and then put another bit, needs more support. Okay, what if we put another, oh, hang on. That can't be supported. Ah, right, okay. How are we going to do that then? So that can't go there because it hasn't got enough support with it but we can't build down in the mist okay have we got anything that can ah yeah we've got we've got those so if we do that that's perfect and then just get the little steps uh not enough space put them there brilliant okay switching attack modes troops have two modes of attack they can target the closest or the most dangerous you can swap between these attack modes using a button on the troops action panel Cautious movement, move, pick target. Ah, nearest enemy. And that changes it to the most dangerous. Oh, that's quite a nice thing. Okay, that's quite good. Right, so you head up there, look. And when you get to the top, we will just take a little moment to recycle all of these things. Thank you so much. We'll take them back. Wonderful. Right, let's, uh, let's go into here then. It looks perfectly safe in here. What could possibly go wrong? Right, run into here. Have we got... Go on then. Go go through. Oh no, they have to go in one by one. Oh, okay. No, they have to go in individually. They can't go in side by side because they just get a little bit confused. Right. What is through here? Nothing much. Okie doke. Over here. Let's head right over there because that's our next kind of waypoint marker thing. Uh, oh, hang on. There's definitely something going on there. What's happening? Uh, Lady Iris, I bring an urgent request. Hogar expects an attack. The gates are... <gasps> The gates are what? What are the gates? She listened to my message, or pretended to listen. It didn't matter. She knew what to do. Oh, okay, right, I see. So that's a storyteller from the start. Um, Lady Eris says, if Hogar calls, we go. Okay, they've all got masks on. That makes sense. Okay, so that was kind of our little basic, you know, sort of how to move about and how things work and how to do some very simple building and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so continue on to the next. Okay, we're here at the Citadel. The Citadel is your settlement's heart. It must not fall. It stores natural resources like wood, which you will need to build your fortress. Settlements need other buildings to grow. You cannot place buildings, such as sawmills, outside your Citadel's territory. But pieces, such as stone bricks, can be built outside these limits. Okay, so we can build little things out and about the area that we're allowed, but we can't build important kind of operational buildings. Okay, that makes perfect sense. And oh dear. So Lady Era says, we shall need wood before all else. It does look a little bit kind of broken and run down, doesn't it? It looks a little bit broken. Wood is a foundation of a settlement's economy. Build sawmills close to trees to obtain a continuous supply of wood. Okay. Yeah, there's quite a few holes in the defences there. 
that could be a bit of a problem, couldn't it? Things are looking a little bit broken. Right, so grab, pause time. You lot can come and just sort of stand over here. Right, so now what have we got there? So that is resource. Oh, here we go. Sawmills. Right, so it creates workers that gather wood from nearby sources. Okay, and when they're done, they carry it over here to the citadel. Okay, so we've got, it costs 15 wood to get one of these built. And it's plentiful supply over there. So if we pop you there, and then, oh, that's a bit close to the other one. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on. No, 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 come, come out of this. Can we move you over? C can we can we destroy you? Ensuring a clear path. All sit all buildings, so you need a clear path to your citadel. If the route to your citadel is obstructed, that building will shut down and not operate. Oh, okay, so up there, they can't get down to here then get back up to the citadel so we've got to build some sort of you know rudimentary paths or whatever that's fine um this here can, can we move that are we allowed to move that can we recycle that building hold to recycle yeah okay thank you made a slight technical boo-boo there but never mind if we put that over here plentiful and then that can go there plentiful so two of those over there without them sort of fighting for resources okie doke and now go to here and what have we got? So we've got ourselves, yeah, over here looks like a pretty good place to do some building. So we've only got wood, however. We haven't got all of our stone things. A wooden strut? Uh, how is that gonna work? Hang on. Could we have potentially a bit like that? That's okay, so I can come down and then that's going to need more support. What if we do that? And then get a little stair bit and go like that. Okay, is that sufficient? Can can they operate like that? So you should have a clear path. So put a sawmill with a clear path to the citadel. Nought out of one. Oh, they're being built. I see. They're being constructed. How are our noble heroes doing? They're just stood around the front of the citadel. It looks good. I like the uh, visuals of the citadel. That's very impressive. It's a big old thing with a shiny ball thing at the top. Yay for a mysterious, spooky, shiny ball thing. Okay, well, how are we doing over here? Can we can move time on a bit quicker? I don't, I don't know if we can. I'm not entirely sure if we can. Oh, there's a button there for that, maybe. Ah, there we go. Fast forward. Oh, it's F is fast forward. Okay, right. They're doing excellent. The workers are gathering wood now, and we can see them here. They're coming down the little kind of path thing we've made, and they're going to take the wood to the citadel. So more spawn workers that carry wood to the nearest storage area. For now, that's your citadel. Your workers can collect resources more speedily if you build them shorter routes. Okay, makes perfect sense. We need somewhere for folk to live, says the Herald. Okay, so now we're just doing basic things like housing, and then we're going to need food. Okay, so some sort of shack type things. Right, so the wood is piling in. However, right, pause time, because you know, what have we got? Shacks. Okay, so I think... Build a few shacks over here, kind of out in the corner, just sort of out of the way. So we've got eight people right now, so we're going to need at least two of these. So how about we have one, two. Oh, I was going to build three just to make sure, but okay. Deconstructing buildings, yeah, we did that already. That's fine, that's okay. So, oh yeah, four shacks, it says there, with a clear path to the Citadel. Let's just put them all at the back. That's absolutely fine. Speed time on, because we can't do much else whilst we wait. But you know what? Hang on. Let's go and have a look at the sawmill because it's a very impressive building. It's got a big kind of golden saw blade thing in it. That's very fancy. And then the people over here, they've got your yeah, golden weapons, look. They've got like a golden axe there. Uh, yep, you're chopping down trees. Okay, how are we looking over here? Two are done. And the third's going to be done momentarily. I mean, you know, you know, it, it's not exactly luxury living, but it's better than nothing. The air here, it's stale with mist. Okay, the mist is bad. Okay oxygen production okay they need a steady supply of oxygen to survive amidst the mist of the old lands okay keep an eye on oxygen production to avoid running out of breathable air the citadel does generate a little bit of it but you need to build air filters uh okay do we have uh pause time a minute do we have an oxygen meter oh it's up here in the corner look it's one of our two resources so that one is wood and that one is oxygen okay so at the moment it looks like we have got oxygen ticking up. We're getting 80, I don't know, units of oxygen per minute. That's okay. But I assume as more and more people move in, that's going to come down. So we have to build an air filter. And then down here, it says that we can build them on top of other buildings, which sounds like quite a good idea. So where are they? Air filtering. 
There we go. So plus 180 per minute, it requires 48 wood. That's okay. And I think it shows us, that's quite nice. It shows us how much wood is going to be left after we've finished building, look. So it shows us up there, the little kind of red thing appears. So yeah, that's okay. That's fine. We can put a couple of these. So yeah, there we go. Let's put it on that building. We'll put another one, possibly are the gatherers too close. Okay, do you know what? That'll do for now. That'll do for now. Uh, we have got, yeah, there's other building bits there. We could do with some more shacks because I think now we have 23 people living here. So possibly we should just put at least one more of those and then could we, on top of that, put another one of those? That would be no bad thing, I don't think. You know, we're making use of our resources. That's okay. Right, so move time on nice and quick. I am intrigued. Oh yeah, the air things are... I can't see the top, of course, because we're under construction, but they're sort of sucking air in, and I imagine that it's going to come out of the top as sort of nice purified air or whatever. I imagine that's going to be what's happening with this, but let's make sure and see when it's done. So, um, oh, is that it finished? Oh, I thought it was like a sheet on top of it, but no, it is, it's not that at all. Uh, okay. Oh, hang on. It needs a path. It needs a path. So people have to collect the oxygen is it in like cylinders or something uh, okay hang on a minute i haven't done that very well hang on build a thing there and a thing there and then we need like just a little wooden block there we go one of these one like that and one in that gap and then just some more step steppity step perfect okay these few shacks up at the start we have more work to do okay now we need to gather some stone okie dokie and minerals Okay, so find a stone or mineral deposit. So whereabouts is that? Move to the mark position. Oh, we've now got to go wandering, but we've got Lady Iris as well. Okay, so let's head up here then. So head over here. There is something. Oh, there's a lot of stone over here. I assume that. Hang on, unpause time. That would help, wouldn't it? Yay for spacebar. Um, right, so we can get over here, look. I think we're going to come round here. Get a bit of a chip on, folks. Um, and yeah, stuff can just happen in the background. That's fine. So you're going to make your way over here. Right. We've found some stuff. These minerals. If we build a quarry here, it will gather stone for our walls. That will be useful. Well spotted. But our territory doesn't reach that far. At least not yet. Okay. So we have to expand it, do we? With beacons. Okay. So it's got to be built inside the existing territory, but it will expand it out a bit. Okay, right. Beacons. Here we go. Let's build ourselves a beacon. Um, oh, we can nearly get to it. Look, right. Put a beacon just there. Somebody work on that, please. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to take that long at all, I don't think. So come out of that. Um, yeah, and then we can go over here and build a quarry. Okay, so let's move time on nice and quick. There we go. Uh, yeah, F is fast forward. Right, so do this. We'll wait around here just in case there are some terrifying beasties or whatever. Excellent. Our territory now extends to the stone deposit. Let's start gathering. Okay. Oh, hang on. It says they defend the citadel at all costs. It didn't say build a quarry. Okay, build a quarry. Uh, oh, now it says build a quarry. Phew. I thought bad things were going to happen there. Okay, right. So, build a quarry. Just, hang on, you get five. If you put it round there, look. We get five of whatever that orange resource is. Fifteen, I assume it's stone and whatever the other thing was. I've forgotten now, but okay. Um, oh, hang on. Now I've ruined it. Now we can't... Oh, there you go. Five. Yeah, that'll do. Just there seems good. We shall have one of those, please. So, again, move time on nice and quick. Get this put together. Okay, there we go. The quarry is done. That will do. Now let's rebuild those walls. More walls? It's true. We have plenty of stone, but, says the Herald... Okay, so building stone defences, and there we go. Now we get to build our defences. This is quite fun. Higher stone walls have more health and last longer under attack. The taller a wall, the tougher it is. This is called toughness. That's a good name for it. And it makes stone pieces essential defensive building blocks. When a stone structure toughness increases, you will see its appearance uh, change slightly. Oh, so it kind of... Oh, yeah, look. It becomes a little bit different. So you can see how tough it is. Toughness can be increased up to three times. In short... High walls are healthy walls. Okay, we want high walls. Let's make sure these new walls stand firm. Okie dokie. Right, so uh, put stone, pl uh, stone pieces in these areas. Okay, so I assume the enemy can't come in from these sides because they're covered. 
There's a bit of a weakness over there, but there are some quite huge gaping holes over here. So let's maybe, yes, fill in these bits. Right, so stone bricks. Here we go. Fill these bits in. So we can drop these in. How much stone have we got? It's four stone to put down one of these bits. Okay, this is fine. And we are building it like a proper brick wall looks. We're not having things directly on top of each other. We could use some sort of passage through our new structure. Yes, indeed, like a door. A door would help. And look, the wall has upgraded. It's got a slightly different colour. Okay, uh, Horus cannot travel through doors, but your units will. What does that say? If the stone walls that surround a door increase in toughness, the door gets tougher too. Okay, so now we can have a door or a double door. Uh, let's have a double door because it looks exciting. We'll put a double door there. Uh, oh, hang on. How does how does that work though? Do we have to put the door down first and then build around it? How does that work? Because there's not a corresponding thing on the other side. Uh, yeah, I don't, there's not a hole in the other side. How does that work exactly, game? I don't know. Let's try it over here, shall we? So if we put that in the middle and then we go to blocks and we say, okay, we'll have... Uh, oh, hang on. We might be able to do that like that. So a tall block, tall block, tall block. Put that there like that. Have a little block. And then around the top here, just put more wide blocks like that. So is that going to build up? Is that going to sort of upgrade itself? Not quite yet, it's not. Bit of a nuisance, but never mind. Right, have that. Right, wall, can you upgrade, please? Yes. Okay, we could use some traps. Okay, I see where you're going with this. Traps can be set to damage approaching horrors. They're handy, but not cheap, and will break permanently after some use. Yeah. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Right, so pop that in like that. Now, the only thing is over here, that door is a bit rubbish. So I think, can we recycle that door? And can we maybe recycle a few of these bits? Get ourselves a door, put the door in, and then fill up these gaps. There we go. Nobody noticed a thing. Everything's fine. Yay for the door. Okay, right, there we go. That's much better. There's a little kind of um, sort of viewing spot there. We could put some archers there and they can fire on the baddies. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Um, right, traps. Traps, traps, traps. Okay, 15 bits of wood. I imagine they're going to come along here. So just, I don't know, put a couple of traps like that, maybe. Is, is that good? Needs more support, apparently, over there. Okay, um, we'll put a trap there. And 45, oh, okay, hang on. More traps like that. Is, is that good? Is this good? Are we, are we supposed to have more traps anywhere else? Don't think so. Can we line up some traps there and around here? Needs more support. But it's not... Hang on. We just put some across there. Uh, we're still going to put some stone pieces in, it says. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. That's what I'm looking at there. Oh, it wants more... More stone. Just higher. Just more walls. Is that what you want? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is fine. More walls. More walls is what you're going to get. This is all good. Right, put a bit in at the end. Boop. And maybe do the same over here. Just make this a little bit higher. So one and two and three and four. And one bit at the end just there. And I don't know where do we put the other bits. One just there. And one just there. Okay. Tactical pieces, crikeys. They're special pieces that provide benefits to nearby defences or units. Ah, okay, right. So yeah, you're kind of, whatever they're called, ramparts, whatever they are. Um, okay, right. So place your tactical pieces thoughtfully. Your units need to be close to these pieces to gain benefits during a battle. Right, so place merlons. Okay. Uh, oh, that's those things there. Okay. So if we have, the only thing is, how are they going to stand there? So range boost, that's good, uh, but how is that going to work? Because they can't get up there. They can't stand there to use them because there's not a bit at the back. So how is that going to work exactly? Unless we're supposed to build, are we supposed to build up? Is that what, are we supposed to do a little bit of building work there? So they can have like a a bit to stand on? I'm not quite sure. I kind of feel like we should be doing that. Hang on, hang on. Let's go and do that. Also telling us to do banners. Um, banners increase the base attack damage of any nearby unit. Okay, maybe over here then we'll put, put a banner there 
and maybe on this side pop a little banner on the front yay there we go unlocking more tactical pieces okay so as we go through we're going to find more things right you are um a printer all counts for nothing if no one is manning it let's go okay so pause time for a second hang on hang on uh remember each troop has a preferred height okay now the other thing is they can't get to here so how are they going to get up there? We need some sort of, you know, uh, ladders and things. So let's go and do some building work, shall we? Uh, we could do it out of stone. That'd be okay. Uh, so could we have yeah, a bit like that and then have a bit like that and then a bit like that? This is going to be a bit weird. Bear with me on this. Right, okay, like that. Oh, that's not gonna that's not gonna fly, is it? That's not gonna work at all. Because they can't no, that's okay, right, no, that's not gone well. Uh rotate, get rid of that. So how about get rid of this? This is what we have to do. We have to have a bit like that, bit like that, bit like that. There we go. We're gonna get this other so boop, boop, boop. And then the same again here, I think. So have a bit like that, and then have oh how are they going to get up there a bit like ah yeah like that okay so a bit in there a bit in there and then some steps and boom right they can get up there not got much stone left but that's okay but they can at least get up onto these bits here uh okay gain boost from tactical pieces we haven't got any kind of fighty people yet but okay let's get you lot and we'll put you lot over here you're only standing over here right Okay, we haven't got anywhere for them to stand behind here just yet. Okay, that's probably not great. That's not really going to help much, but okay, we'll see what happens when they get over there. Is that going to be good? Is that going to be bad? I don't know. Let's find out when they make their way to this bit of slightly shoddy wall. Okay, there they go. They're getting damage boosts. So game boosts from tactical pieces. Uh, I mean, yeah, can you... You can't stand there. Yeah, I've not designed this wall very well, have I? Right, hang on, we might need to go and do some more stuff with the wall. So could we have a bit like, uh, yeah, a bit like this. How much stone have we got? We've got an okay amount of stone. They are gathering more. So if we do that, look, and then have a bit like this and a bit like that, and then just get some steps. Nice big, oops, I've put some steps where they shouldn't go, but okay, never mind. Uh, more support. What, down there? Is a stone block required underneath? Uh, okay, that bit of ground is just too sort of wobbly, I think, to put anything on. So, can you uh, go here now? Can you stand there? Yeah. That's that's not going to be great for anybody else, is it? So you can stand there. So that's a range boost. Um, What are the tactical pieces have we got? We've got Merlons and banners uh oh hang on hang on i wonder i wonder are you getting the boost or hang on should we put you somewhere over here for now and then whoa that was a bit crazy and then put you there so now two out of three tactical boosts uh we've got to put you up here somewhere um right you can sort of get up there you're going to need a little bit of a um Hang on, got loads of wood. Let's build some wood structures, shall we? So if we say, if we put uh, that wood structure is pretty rubbish, really, isn't it? Hang on. Um, could we have a bit? One, two, three. Okay, hang on. So it's going to have to be, uh, where's this wooden bits? Like that. So like that, and then two, and then one, and then get some of this and go one, two, three, four, and then come out of that, grab you, put you there. You can then use that. Got a little bit of a climb up the slow rickety wooden things, but there we go. Those filthy horrors won't reach us easily now, hopefully. Uh, don't be so sure. Night arrives and our rebuilding efforts have attracted them. Take positions. Okay. Are we going to get attacked? Okay, horror swarms. Horrors are attracted to human settlements and attack frequently. They attack every night, but scattered horrors can also attack in the daylight. Generations of defenders have learned to anticipate the direction of force of incoming swarms. While hovering over the red icon, you can see what kind of enemy is expected and how big the swarm will be. Okay, so where are we being attacked from? Which part of the world? Uh, it's over near the front doors. 
Okay, so the main kind of front entrance, I would say. The night is nearly here. So we've got uh, a few. I don't know what that's showing me, though. Is the thing on the left the things we've seen before? And the thing on the right is some sort of upright kind of looking thing? I'm not entirely sure. But if they're coming from that direction, you might as well come over. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Could you go up here? We get, yeah, we've got some more stone now. I like putting out stone. It feels a bit better. So if we put that, um, okay, not, I didn't want to put it there. Hang on, recycle that, get rid of that. Thank you. Uh, put that there and then get that and that. Could you, rather than, um, yeah, hanging around up there, not doing anything, could you go here, look? You could stand out there, look, and you can fire at them as they come this way. You can chuck your spiky kind of bomb things at them, or whatever they are. Chuck big, heavy things at them. Uh, okay, right. Run time on quick. Until the baddies arrive, I suppose. Not got much else to do except wait for the inevitable onslaught of horrific creatures that would like to eat us for breakfast. Oh, it says down here the swarm of horrors will attack when the red thing is full. Okay, so we're just waiting now for that to kind of fill up. But yeah, I don't think there's going to be too many coming to attack us right now i think we're going to be okay we should muddle through even though we do only have three people we haven't got three people it's not very good can we still build we can still build i mean could we potentially put a banner there so you get your boost your range boost from being on the kind of rampart things and also you get a damage boost from being near to the flag that makes sense, doesn't it? That's that's quite good, isn't it? There we go. Wonderful. Right, so get time ticking on. And here come the horrors. The horrors are coming. Oh, goodness me. There was a horrible jarring chord there. The horrors are coming. Okay. Whereabouts? There they are. Uh, okay. Weird, yeah, sort of frog horror things. So we're going to chuck stuff at them from up here. You're throwing stuff at them. Yeah, good job, actually, you. Yeah, you're getting them. Archer's getting them. She's using... Ah! I think Lady Iris is using some sort of magic type stuff, which is fine. The traps are hurting them as well, as you might imagine, because they're big spiky things. Okay. And I think couple left. And boop! We survived the night. We won. But this is only a bite at our ankles. They're testing us. Oh, that... Yeah, that was fine. That was okay. You have no idea, Hogardian. Prepare for more conflict. Okay, very dramatic lady is. Hiding won't be enough to survive the night. We have to put up a fight. Okay, so do you go out in the day and take them out or whatever? Without a strong army, it's only a matter of time before the fiends break through your walls. It is the order of Hogar's duty to train men and women to defend against the horrors of the mist. Troops are trained in military buildings, such as a barracks. Okay, the number of troops you can train is limited by your military capacity. Okay, so we can only have so many people we can only have 25 military right now okay so build a barracks right here we go getting some basic things in um is it in here military growth right a barracks let's put it uh put it at the back there's not that much room around here we are going to push for space we'll put that there it's a huge dr hang on, no, 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 recycle, because that's in the way of that air thingamabobber. Um, can we put it, where can we put the barracks? It's, it's just, it's just big. It's just a big building that's going to block access. If we put it there, can we get round? Uh, there's a bit of a gap over here, actually. Could we just sort of tuck it? Uh, let's just put it there. That'll do. There. Wonderful. Right, so get that put together took a chunk of resources but that's absolutely fine so once that's done we can start training troops up i'm a little bit concerned about our kind of so i don't know ramparts so you know bit over here because they can have two people standing on them which is a bit rubbish so can we improve that in some way can we make that a little bit better so half stone arches um no not really unless Oh, I see what we should have done. Okay, right. This might require a little bit of sort of rejigging of things. But if we just, hang on, do a bit of a test. I'll get rid of that. Grab one of these. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Put that like that. 
then we can have people standing on those. Okay, right, that's what we have to do. Okay, let me go and sort that out. Let's go and get some uh, slightly better sort of uh, ramparts, whatever they are. And uh, yeah, we just try to make these a little bit more effective. There we go, that's much better. So now people can stand here behind the Merlons and use them and get the range boost. Wonderful. We couldn't put any over here because it was providing a bit of a blocker to either coming up the stairs or kind of walking around this way. So they kind of stop here. But do you know what? That's okay. I mean, if I wanted to, I could readjust the stairs a bit, I suppose. But they're okay for now. They'll do the job. Now, the only thing is, if we get attacked over here, we are going to be a little bit useless. So possibly we should do the same thing over here. We kind of need a little bit on this side with the arched bits. So we can have the Merlons and then a kind of bit for people to stand. So let me go and put that over here as well. There we go. That looks much better. Wonderful. And I think even we could possibly put a little banner as well. Maybe one there, look. And then one at that end. Just to inspire people onto greatness. Okay. Wonderful stuff. There we go. So now we've got some places for people to stand and fire the baddies. Yay. Right. Get time ticking on. How is our barracks doing? It's looking pretty good. Move time on nice and quick. And there we go. It's done. We can now start training troops, but we are looking a bit low on oxygen production, apparently. So possibly we should get another one of these in. I mean, it says, yeah, they can go on to other things. Uh, must be placed higher. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, it could It could go on there if we wanted it to must be placed higher. It could go on the top of there, but I don't quite know how we're going to get onto there. Uh, it, it's quite a long way up to the top of the barracks. Um, can we put it up here? Needs more support. Uh, or do we build, hang on, pause time. Do we build a few more little shacks and then just put it on the top of those? Maybe, can we fit a shack in around here? I think we can. So pop one there and then put that uh oh maybe because it's not is it because it's not there yet is it because the shack's not there okay right build the shack first build that first and then hang on yeah run time on quick and then we'll put the oxygen thing on top of the shack when it's done okay the shack is done so now let's go to here and put that on the top although it needs more support it says it needs ah there we go we can put it there wonderful right so pop that in and I think it's going to need access up to it, isn't it? So we're going to need to put some stairs in. We've got plenty of wood. Get some wooden stairs going up to it. Um, is one lot going to be okay? Is one lot going to be fine? No. So we're going to need it a bit like that. And then a bit like that. I've got another bit that's already built like that. I should just use those instead. And then like that. Wonderful. Okay, so people can get up there and interact with that. And that will provide more oxygen. Wonderful. Right. Over here, barracks. What can we do? So we can make bowmen, we can make lobbers, we can have, oh, a leather bow grip increases damage per hit for bowmen. Uh, oh, I quite like the idea of that. Leather gauntlets, hang on. Maximum health of lobbers or intense training improves range and line of sight for all units trained in the barracks. Oh, yeah, let's get that done. 25 wooden, 10 of whatever that is, minerals. Yeah, get that done, please. That seems like a good thing to do. And then maybe just get a couple of bowmen trained up just to see how that's going to work. I think we have got plenty of time. I think we're about halfway through the day. So hopefully we can get that done and a couple of bowmen trained up as well before night time comes around. And then, of course, we do have that little bit of extra time at night when the monsters are building up. When they're kind of you know, getting ready, they're you know, getting their shoes on and make sure they've you know, got their wallets and stuff for the journey. So there's a little bit of time as well. So we should be okay. Um, I mean, really, I want those as well. And another bowman. Just get more more bowmen just to fire arrows at the baddies and then just make them better. Just get the improvements because we might as well just get leather bow grips. More damage is a good thing. Um, right. Okay. So very soon... We're going to have a new person down here. We're going to have our first kind of proper dedicated military unit. So let's just welcome them when they appear. And boop, there we go. Hello, how are you? Would you like to come over here and stand on a wall? Of course you would. It's what you dreamed of. It's what you trained for. Right, so you stand there. And you, Harold, you can come along here, look. Oh, hang on, I still selected you. You can, no, you can stand near that thing because you get a boost from the um, the banner flag thingamajig. That's good. And over here, 
We are training up another one. Okay, move time on nice and quick. Move time on quick. And we'll just get another two, two bowmen trained. Oh, hang on. We're out of people. We're out of citizens. Right. We need some more houses. Okay, maybe over here, look. We could build a couple of houses. So uh, let's get those underway. Okay, bowman, come over here, possibly, just in case we get attacked over here. So you come and stand over here to provide some sort of defense of that part of the castle. Oh, hang on. There's some horrors. They're attacking in the day. All oh, your cheeky sausages. Okay, right, they're gone now. They're gone. They've been handled. That was quite easy. That was quite comprehensive, but okay. Right, there's another bowman. Put you over here, I would say, just to cover that bit off. The night is nearly here. Okay, okay. So we've got both of the things done, all the training done. So now I think we just kind of put our, what do we do? Put our faith in, in bowmen. Uh, we are running low on wood though. It takes a lot of wood to train the bowmen. Okay, but if we could, if we could get another few done, just before where are they coming from where are the baddies coming from ah they're coming from this side okay i think then everybody come over here you come over here as well uh so everyone move over there you come over here no point you just hanging around oh you're gonna go along the oh i thought you're gonna walk along the walls like some sort of crazy person but no you're using your know, stairs sensible uh and then you uh i mean you can come here you can just lob stuff on them it's not perfect but it will do the job there is a little bit of a thing over there. What's that over there? Should we have explored that over there? Maybe we should have had a look over there, but never mind. Uh, right, got another couple of people. They can stand over here. I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Oxygen is to win. Oh, right. Possibly should sort out the oxygen because otherwise it's going to be a sad time for everybody. Hang on a moment. Uh, one of you can go there please yeah go there put it on a high up thing and we will get some of these so hang on get one of those look put that in like that then get steps up like that okie doke uh build this really this is urgent this is like top priority number one forget the monsters being able to breathe is probably quite important as well uh where can we put more of those we could put one up there we could put one up there but then we just have to build a really elaborate kind of path to get up to it. Um, there's plentiful, though. It will provide a lot of oxygen because it's really high up. Um, okay. It might be worth trying to figure out how we can get this done. If we put... Can we build across there somehow? Can we build like a little path across there? I'm not in time. I'm not convinced. I don't know. Uh, we'll put it there for now. And then we'll try and work on that. But they're going to build that. But yeah, this one here is going to be useful. Just to maybe prop up our supplies. And then hopefully we're not going to die too quickly. Hang on a minute. Can we get some oxygen in from the thing? We're on. Okay, it's, fi it's finished. Minus 94 per minute. Why is that not working? Why is it not working? Because have I built it the wrong way round? I think I've built it back to front. Okay. This is fine. Uh, we're going to recycle that. We might possibly have a bit of a breathing problem in a second, everybody. This could be troublesome. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Like that. There we go. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Uh, maybe if we get this one up and running, that might be quite good. Okay, let me build some sort of ludicrously elaborate stairway up to here, which is in no way going to be a big old disaster. Hang on a minute. And... We'll build out a stone because we haven't got any wood left. Hang on a minute. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this. Okay, so I built something which I think might possibly work. It does use existing architecture. So we haven't had to build that much stuff. So over here is our kind of oxygen generator thing. Hopefully they can complete that very soon. And then over here, look, there's a kind of little twirly staircase thing. So I think people should be able to go up here go along there, up here, and then very precariously walk along these walls over here, look, because that's a clear path, and then they can get to here, and we've built a little kind of archway thing on these two pillars, and then they can get to that bit, and they can get the oxygen out. Hopefully, that will do the job. If it doesn't, we might be in for a spot of, you know, terrible as asphyxiation horror. That might be a little bit of an issue, so hopefully we can get that put together. The oxygen is coming down very quickly. Uh, it's going to be 
pretty touch and go really so hopefully that's going to be fine and okay it's going up it's going up 86 per minute that's brilliant that thing will hopefully help as well the horrors are coming there they are hello you lot oh there's some there's some big chonky lads okay right big terrifying chonky ones are coming in there's some spikes that are going to get them. They're going to start attacking the walls. They're going for the door. We have got plenty of people firing at them. Crikey, there's a lot of monsters. Okay, I think that's it, though. I think the wave has stopped. So if we just keep firing at them from up on high. Fire quicker, dudes. Fire quicker. Fire more. There we go. Boop, boop. That one goes down. Then it's just the ones over here. Uh, that's good. However, there are two over here ah you can pick you can see them apparently you can set good shot that was a very impressive shot given that they were behind a wall you had to kind of fire it downward onto them okay um if you think you're ready for the next form you can skip head to the moment they arrive click trigger next wave uh where's that trigger where is trigger next wave i don't know where that is i don't want to do that right now but where is that uh, oh there it is Okay, right, so we can, if we want to, just you know, go forward to the next attack. Okie doke. We're under attack, apparently. Are we under attack? From where? Uh, oh, over here. Oh, I think they're dealing with it. You two guys are dealing with it really well. Um, There we go, just a couple of shots. Boom, that's fine. That was fine. No need to panic me like that game. That made me nervous and sweaty there. No, it's all fine. Everything's good. Right, okay, so yeah, we'll take time on. We'll run time on nice and quick um that's the shack where's the thing right so if we could get another archer trained up by the end of the day that would be brilliant there we go get another one done uh oxygen again is looking a bit low because of course we're getting more people out there and the more people there are the more they have to you know breathe and such like so i wonder can we get one more oxygen thingamajigger onto say one of these can we get it onto that building and just sort that out maybe give that a go but we need some more wood okay that's fine we can do that we can wait for some wood to come in to get that done that's not a problem oh but we can't put it there because there is an oxygen thing next door okay that's a little bit of an issue where can we put one of these must be placed higher i mean how high up we can put one up there uh can people get up there I assume people can walk up to the top of the um, top of the castle thing. I assume that's a thing that people can get access to. Uh, is that? But they can't get to the the access point. Isn't quite right. I don't think. Hang on. Can we can we put it over? It? We must be able to put one up here. That'd be really high up, and it'd be really really good. But I don't know if we can wrangle it. Is it going to work? Needs more support. Um botherations i don't think we can get one up there uh right okay where else can we put one of these we need to build a high up place to put one of these which isn't near anything else oh we could put one there look that gives us a plentiful amount of oxygen okay so if we pop that there and then we figure out a way of getting up here that would be quite good wouldn't it okay so how can we get up there we're going to need some stone support stuff and uh, just some steps i suppose just kind of coming up that way it's going to be fine i mean could we hang on a second hang on if we build that like that okay i've got an idea i've got an idea it might be a terrible idea but we're going to go with it because it's a geek covered idea and they're not always terrible so if we go uh like no not like that what is the way round so like that so they can walk along here they can get to this bit and then we just need to kind of build this bit out ever so slightly. So if we just get a platform there of some kind. So if we can go boop and boop like that. Put a bit of stone underneath. Not enough space. Uh, oh, okay. That possibly doesn't need to be there, but never mind. And then go like that. Then put, hang on. Then put one of those on. And then put a fancy stone archway thing. I think people can get to that. I think people can go along here and walk up to this and get the oxygen out i think that's what we do hang on a minute more creatures coming in during the daytime that's not supposed to happen but they're all being very killed to death kill it kill and boom wonderful right they're all being handled this is all fine so can we get any more archers just before the night time comes around no because we hardly have any wood at all okay never mind right we'll just put another archer up there if we get to 60 wood 
we'll try and get another one. Oxygen is currently the big problem. But now that's done, they can get to it because of our slightly weird one colloids path. But you know what? It's okay. It's a slightly weird one colloids path, but it's a completely valid slightly weird one colloids path. And that's what matters. Yay for oxygen. Oh, I didn't look at that. It tells you how much oxygen a particular character breathes. So the bowmen require 45 oxygen. Okay, so we can't get that many more in. We can get another one in. So that's okay. So I think that will bring our oxygen total down to what, about 60 per minute. That's okay. That seems like quite a lot to me. So if we just get you in there, I feel like, I think this is going to be the last wave of this particular sort of starting level. So I think it might be bigger than we've seen before because you know, that would make sense, wouldn't it? But if we can just get as many people doing the defending as we can, that would be quite good. So if we could get another, I mean, another two people would be ideal. You're done. What, we are now 71. You take 45. Okay, we can afford to get one more person in. So I think get another archer over here and run time on quick. Get the other archer in on this wall and that's going to be about the best we can do. And then I think we push on to the knight and we go from there. Then that's what we do. There we go. Get you done. You can come and stand in the middle over here because that's a fun place to go. Low oxygen production, but we are still producing it. It is still you know, going up. It's fine. The night is nearly here. Uh, right, okay, so where are we being attacked from? Two locations, no great surprise. So loads of things over there and loads of things over there. Okay, bit of a nuisance. Uh, right, slow time down a moment. Uh, right, here we go. Tactical pieces. Can we have traps? Can we put some more traps out? Can we just lie some more traps out like that? And then put some more insufficient resources. Oh, we're really low on wood. We are going through so much wood. Okay, we can put possibly one more trap down. We'll put what? Hang on, we can put another couple down. One there and one there. Do you know what? I think we're ready. Trigger the next wave. Trigger the next horror attack. Yes, please. Get ready to battle. Take positions. I think everybody is in position. Right, so go up on high and look at what we have going on. Right, lots coming in from this side. All seem to be little ones so far. We're picking quite a lot of them off from range. This lot are also being handled. I imagine at some point, you know, later on in the game, you can build like war machines and things to help you out as well. You can have like big like ballistas and trebuchets and things. Okay, there's quite a lot of them. Oh, and there's some of the big lads. There's some of the big lads coming in. There's stuff going on over here. Under attack. Yes, I, I had noticed this. This is the thing that I was aware of. Indeed we are. Right, I think they're being picked off on that side. Okay. Over here, we are firing them a little bit slowly, if I'm honest. That bit of wall has fallen apart. They're through over here. Oh, that bit of wall is falling apart. Oh, the defences are crumbling on this side. Over here, they are picking a few holes, but I think we're doing okay. They're kind of getting a few down here. Look. We could do with you picking on these guys. They are they are making a nuisance of our walls. A building lacks a path to the citadel. Uh, we are losing oxygen. That's a bit of a nuisance. Can you fire at them? Can you see them? I don't suppose you can. Can you come here and fire at them? Uh, right. How are we looking over here? It's... Oh, there's a big hole in the walls. Okay. Okay. But we are at least shooting at them. This is good. You guys... Can you guys get down? Yes, you guys can get down, but I think yeah, you can't see anything. So how do we kill you? Do we have to come outside? Have we got to come outside and fire at this lot because we can't see them? Okay, here we go. Archers, at the ready! And fire at the baddies. Fire! And you fire at those ones. And there we go. We survived the night exhausted. Yet, we won. Indeed. I mean, yeah, the castle sort of fell down a little bit, but that's all right. We gained some insight. No, we didn't gain any insight. We gained no insight at all. I imagine... Oh, there's none to find, I think. None out of nought. Um, and yeah, we built a barracks. We defended the Citadel. A few level stats. Yeah, we did. We did some stuff. Yay. There we go. Continue on. I don't know where it's going to continue to. I'm not quite sure. That night, Iris defended the city gates from the horrors of the mist. With her peers in the Order, our sworn defenders... Yet, this was not the first time Ogar stood against its enemies. Thirty years before that night, while the Order was once again fighting for their families, for all of us, 
a quiet sound began that would change our history. And when the Perla scholars opened their door, there she was. Between her tiny arms, a Perla embedded in her chest. You already know, a Perla is not a trivial thing. You could die just by touching one. And yet here was an infant with one of these things inside her. She'll die without us. She's a horror in disguise, I tell you. A horror. One looked on in silence. And when she stepped forward, all arguments ceased. She carries a pearl, yes. But also a book. Rectora Elena. She always seemed to understand things. Others could not. Do we not value knowledge? The child? The child is a beacon. Bring her in. Call her... Edith. So, the scholars of the ivory adopted the girl as their own child. And she grew like any other. Slowly, but steadily. Always carrying her book, filled with stories from the past. But Iris was not any other child. As soon as the scholars allowed it, she became a chief defender of the city. And what does a good defender do when an attacker becomes too bold? She plays it smart. She goes in search of answers among the trees, beyond the walls. If we had known what she would come to face, Ciudad Hogar would have shut all doors and windows. And for the first time in centuries, prayed. Oh, so there's a little bit more to Lady Iris than meets the eye. How very intriguing indeed, okie doke. I do quite like the fact that there is a story going on. I quite like that because in games like this, it's often quite easy to just go, do you know what, there you go, build a thing and then defend against waves of baddies because that's what the game's about. That's what you have to do. But in this game, there is a story going on and characters and a tale happening and things are you know, being revealed as we play, which I do quite like. It makes it feel a little bit more sort of, there's more impact to our actions. We're doing stuff for a reason rather than just you need to defend because I said so. We're now doing it for a particular purpose to help out the characters and move the story along and all that kind of stuff, which is quite good. So we play the first level. So that one there. Now, when I loaded the game up, you might notice at the very start, if you go back and look, the second level was greyed out, but we could play the third level, which was a bit weird. So we could play the first or the third initially, but now we can play the second level. But what we'll do is, I think for now, we'll wrap things up with our little look at Cataclysmo, because I think we have had a very good look at the game to see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. But I really enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed it. I do like a game like this where you can just sort of, you know, build up your defences, little bit of time to try and build up troops and put them in the right places and try and figure out what you need to do and build up walls and other kind of stuff. I like that. I do like games like this. And the fact that we do have kind of named characters and a story going on as well, that's quite good. And also I like the theme of this. I do like the theme. It's a little bit Lovecraftian in a way, isn't it? It's all kind of, everything's a bit bleak and a bit run down. It's not set in a nice sort of happy, shiny world with big gleaming, lovely castles. Everything is a little bit kind of, a little bit broken and worse for wear. And I quite like that. It looks very good. And the monsters are all a little bit sort of strange looking as well. These kind of weird mutant horror things. And there's a lack of oxygen going on. There's a mysterious mist going around as well. I do quite like it. So I think possibly when this goes into sort of, I don't know, a full release version or whatever, we might maybe come back and have a little look at it again. Just maybe do one of the slightly more advanced levels, because that, of course, was the first level. That was kind of a little sort of, little happy introductory level, just to let us get used to it. So we might possibly pop back to this at some point in the future and just see what it's like when it's been a bit more developed and such like. But yeah, we'll wrap things up for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up today with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding on a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. Could the alien shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous. <laughs>